Cypher is getting a significant buff. Let's just let's just go back in time and reminisce on the on the glory days of when Cypher could do this. No more charges left. One enemy remaining. What is going on my hotshot? Today we're making a video discussing the Cypher buff that is happening. And I will just be discussing everything about it. And we're going to talk about where he's going to fall in the meta and stuff. I am an immortal Ascendant level player. I've been immortal every act except for this one. I don't know why I cannot get to immortal. I've just been hard stuck Ascendant 2 or 3-ish. But we're grinding. We're still grinding. We're going to get immortal by the time this act ends. I promise. So yeah, here we go, boys. You guys are new around here. Drop a sub. We're almost at 3k subs, guys. We're almost at 3k subs. We're trying to do videos like this all the time. Uh, I usually try to stream daily, but lately, just because my brother's internet, I can't really stream that much because I'm trying to talk on my family and stuff, and I'm also busy with work, so there's a lot going on right now. My brother's doing better. They finally took him off the little tube thing so he's not so he can breathe his own oxygen now, so he's doing a lot better. Probably going to have to go out to Denver again here soon, so there's not going to be a lot of streams when I'm off because, yeah. But I'll try to stream like Friday through Monday as best I can. My day's off as long as I'm not in Denver. So that's it. Drop us up, boys. 3K subs. We're doing a giveaway. All right, let's get started with the video. All right, so basically, we're gonna cover the, we're gonna just read everything that's happening. So, Cypher's getting love from Valorant devs, as it says. His tripwire, or trapwire, I guess they call it, even though it's a trip, but anyways. A maximum tripwire length is increased from 1,500. That's a big buff. I'll show you guys some stuff on Bind in a little bit. I'll open it up and show you guys that shit's gonna be crazy on Bind. Cypher's gonna be really strong on Bind. Then his neural step, which is his ultimate, it reveals enemies two times, and there's a four second delay between the reveals. Time restriction has been removed, so that way, like, when you get the kill, you know what I mean? Like, you can just instantly throw it instead of having to wait fucking, or instead of having, only like, a five-second window to throw your hat on them for the ult. And the distance has increased significantly, so that's going to be very big. And also, the silhouette for Cy Cypher's cam got changed a little bit. So there's this all this stuff right here. The silhouette got changed, so it's a big buffer as all. Well. And then a big thing I want to discuss here real quick is Fade is getting a kind of a little nerf. It's not really anything big, but her prowler duration is shorter, half a second shorter. The delay on the bite is a little bit, so you can actually break it, you know what I mean? Instead of just getting fucking instantly hit by it. So yeah, this Fade got a little nerf, which is pretty nice. Which is going to help Cypher in the long run. Now guys, I'm going to show you someone else's PBE gameplay. I have PBE access, but I'm just too lazy to do this. So his link will be in the description for this. So this is just all the abilities and everything in action. Here it is. I know exactly where you are. Be faster. So guys, right here, I'm going to show you guys this little tier list I made real quick. So this is just basically my my like thoughts on the tier list right now. So this is prior to the update. I think that Fade is up here, S tier. I think she'll still be S tier even after a nerf. KO is S tier as well. Like KO is super fucking strong and annoying as fuck still, even after his nerf. Chamber, literally the most annoying character in the game. Pretty self-explanatory. Then you got all these agents right here. But let's get into the Sentinel rule, all right? So I strongly feel like Cypher's stronger than Sage because Cypher's very viable on Breeze he, right now in the current state of the meta. He's also very good on Haven. Reason being for Haven is he can trip both the flanks, as you guys know. And that's really strong because Chamber can only trip one flank and it can get smoked off. Cypher, it's super hard to counter his trip unless you are Jet or Rage and can go over it. Or Sage, you can wall it off and go over it. But honestly, that makes a lot of noise. So I think Cypher's still very strong on those maps. He also can get a lot of value on Ascent. I think Cypher's still really strong. The only issue with Cypher right now is that KO and Fade kind of fucking fuck him over, especially KO because his knife range is so huge. I think Cypher's going to go a little bit higher in B tier due to this buff, but I don't think it's anything significant really. His trip placement's going to be crazy because there's going to be a lot of shit you can do now. I'm going to be messing around with that. I have a lot of good setups because I've been, I played Cypher a lot in beta as you guys know, and I just really enjoy Cypher, but I think it's time for a change. So my thoughts with Cypher right now are that he is 
he's right he's pretty mid-tier right now i think he'll be a little bit escalated after this especially if ko and Faye get a significant nerf which i could see happening in the near future i think cypher will be generally really well played cypher right now i think is really good i think he's one of the most underrated characters is just like i said ko and fade really counter him the only map where cypher is really not that good in my opinion is honestly icebox but every other map i feel like you can somewhat play him I really like him on the new map Pearl actually because you can do a lot of like trips and stuff and you have to set up some good wall wall bangs on A site. B site you really can't do much with Cypher. There's still some stuff you can do but A site is really strong. Bind I feel like he's really strong. It's like he's strong on every map honestly. It's just you got to get not to get value out of him. You have to be able to lurk. That's a big thing. Lurking is like huge with Cypher. If you don't know how to lurk then it's not for you. And he has some really nerdy setups you can do as well. I was doing some really nerdy setups as you guys can see in the video on these little clips I'm doing from tonight. I have some really good setups. People just could not push my site because I have trips where you can't break them. And if you break them, it gives you info. I don't really do like those nerdy setups, but occasionally I will. But for the most part, I just use my trips for info. That's a big thing. Like, you can trip off two angles, which is really huge. So it eliminates lurkers unless there's like a jet. Like I said, unless there's something I can counter or go over it. Cypher's literally the best at holding flanks. It's just a fact because his trips are so hard to counter. So I think that's why he should be in the meta. Especially on Pearl, because I feel like on Pearl, everyone flanks a lot, and almost everyone knows like the default chamber trip spots, so everyone just pre smokes them and stuff, you know what I mean? So I think he's he's really strong on Pearl still. But like I said, I think he'll be higher B tier. I don't think he's going to be A tier yet. I think after Fade and KO get some sort of a nerf, or they got a passive where chain, like Killjoy and Cypher can both like not be revealed as long, or just don't get revealed by Fade slash Sova Util, and then KO's knife gets like decreased range or something, then I think he'll... Go up into a tier but i think right now he's pretty balanced i think he'll be fair i think this is a good change uh he's not gonna be anything overpowered like if you know how to play cypher you're really good you can get a lot of value out of like i said like nats goes crazy with cypher you know what i mean like it just depends on like how you play like if you play it really ratty like i am like i like lurking and stuff it's a good pick but if you're someone that likes the entry and shit it's obviously not your pick you know it's just preference all right now guys we're back on bind and I was going to show you guys that nerdy trip I was telling you guys about. So essentially, the trip can go all the way down now to like right here. You get what I'm saying? Like it bounces from here to here now. So, a big, like, Cyphers are going to go crazy now with all these. You can There's going to be so many nerdy trips and stuff now because that goes so much longer. So what I'm going to probably do is, like I said, I'll have that trip set up like that. You guys see me do that in the gameplay. I'm going to be in the background a little bit. It's like I'll have a smoke something like this and then someone will like like a jet or rays will like dash in or something and they'll hit the trip and then I'll throw up this and then I'll just spam with the suppressed gun and kill him and then after that I'll go inside my smoke and I'll look like this look around see if there's anyone there I can tag or I'll just like spray if I can see someone you know what I mean so that's gonna be really annoying Cypher's gonna be super strong like in that aspect there should be like so many trips you can do because like say like like right here you can do these trips on the ground you're probably gonna have some nutty trips that are gonna like hit like something weird kind of like this trip right here I'm pretty sure you guys all know this trip right here oh, let me get it real quick there's gonna be like some nutty trips like that because that's a trip I like to throw a lot too like I'll throw a trip like right here and then I'll and then I'll play inside the smoke and I'll do the same thing with that cam. That exact cam I showed you. Something like that. Get the kill. Get the kill on the jet or the rays entering, you know what I mean? And boom. Easy kills right there. Easy frags. There's gonna be some nutty trips like that. Because think about it, this shit's gonna go so much further now. Plus, there's probably it's probably gonna be able to bounce off and hit this corner or some shit. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna be insane. There's gonna be a lot of good setups with Cypher. I'm excited to see the differences. We can also go over this the flank as well. I'm not 100 percent certain on like what is going to be able to be done but obviously there's gonna be some crazy trips i imagine you're gonna be able to do a trip something like this you're gonna do like a trip it's gonna like bounce like that from yeah. there probably like that corner and that's gonna cover most of the flank you know what i mean like that's pretty nuts that's pretty significant there might even be like a little lineup where you could hit like this and like bounce off like something on the ground you know what i mean like there's gonna be some crazy stuff with the trip with the flanks trips it's nuts man i'm so excited especially in higher level play i could see where like they just have jet as the primary opera and then and then they have Cypher instead of Chamber, you know what I mean? A lot of teams will do that. They'll run Cypher and they'll have Jet as a primary opera. Like uh, FPX did that with artists. They just swap off, you know what I mean? So it's just kind of like how you want to play. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a sub. We're almost at 3K subs. We're doing a giveaway at 3K subs. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I am out. Adios. I, 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 you